So if you ever have to manually turn your router on or your dust extraction, well, this device is definitely going to make your life much easier. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button in the corner to get all the latest tips, tricks, tutorials and reviews. Now a while ago I did a video about how to wire your router up to make it start and stop in line with your CNC jobs. Link will be in the corner. Now there was technically nothing wrong with that but it did require a little bit of confidence in terms of wiring and also the time to get everything set up. Now in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about this, the Fox Alien Smart Switch, also known as an IoT relay. Now what that basically means is that whenever our job starts, anything plugged into these two ports here will turn on and when it ends, it will also turn them off. So not only just a router, but also maybe a dust extraction system and ultimately making your life much easier. You don't have to worry about turning things on or off at the beginning and end of every job. Now we should also mention that just because this has got Fox Alien on it, it is actually universal and should run on any CNC machine. And it will also work in different countries because of the multi-plug setup that they have installed on this so let's take a closer look at this see how easy it is to set up and how easy it's going to make our life now the package contains the black box the smart switch it also contains the power cable and a few different types of connectors for different cnc machines so the first thing i noticed about this device is actually quite compact if i bring my phone in for comparison you'll see the length and the width is not far off the overall depth is about two and a half inches now on the front we have the master on and off. This will light up every time the device has power. And you can also use it as a kill switch to turn everything off should you ever need to. Now there are two universal plug sockets. I'm gonna speak about those specifically in a second. But basically it means you can connect two different devices with a plug. Usually that is going to be your router and your vacuum, but it could be something else. Let's say you want your machine to light up every time a job starts and go dark every time a job finishes. You could connect a lamp into one of these and that is exactly what it will do. So any devices with plugs, it will turn them both on and off together. Now the reason I was gonna come back to these, Techie DIY, whom I, I am a big fan of, did point out in the UK, these universal plugs are not legal. So Fox Alien are already on top of this and if you buy one in the UK, you may have plugs that look slightly different. Down here we have the overcurrent protector. This device is rated at 12 amps. If it tries to draw more power than that, you will trip the safety switch and you'll just need to reset it in order to continue. Now you may notice on the front there are two green ports. These are to take the input from your CNC machine. Basically, your existing spindle cable will connect into one of those and basically tell this device when to turn on and off. So let's take a look at how to wire those up now. So in terms of setting the wiring up, well, it really doesn't get much simpler than this. There are four cables provided in the kit for the most common connections on desktop CNC machines. These little green terminal type connections here, plus male and female aviation connectors. So just check what the connection is on the back of your control box for your spindle remove that use the relevant cable to connect into that as we can see in these demonstrations here then you simply take the other end of your cable connect it into the front green ports on the smart switch make sure it's clicked in obviously have the power cable connected as well take whichever device you need to connect such as your router or vacuum plug that in and well, that's as simple as it gets. It really is easy and now that all works obviously as long as it's turned on. So excuse the slightly messy setup. I'm going to show you just how easy this actually is on the Mashuta Pro. So first we're gonna remove the existing spindle cable. We're gonna bring in the cable that we know fits into that port, plug it in, make sure it clicks. We're then gonna take the opposite end of that and plug it into the smart switch itself. Again, make sure that clicks into place. We're then gonna bring in the two plugs for the vacuum and the router. We're gonna plug those in once it's in there. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna turn the machine on as well. And then once we hit go on this, the vacuum and the spindle should kick in together and then cut off shortly after. So there you have it. You can see how quick it is to set up and make it all work. 
and as mentioned earlier it does not need to be a fox alien machine as long as your cnc machine has some sort of spindle cable or spindle output from the control box we can make this relay work now in this scenario i've just connected to the existing spade connectors usually you would obviously remove the entire spindle cable out of the drag chain just to clean up the wiring but this is obviously for a demonstration and we can now see this work the router will kick in and it'll extract the dust as part of a review video I did recently, I tested the device out on some longer jobs to make sure it didn't overheat and had no issues at all. Now at this stage I'd show you lots of footage of this starting different routers on different machines, but to be honest, well, I think you kind of get the point. So it's easy to set up, it is easy to use and therefore making our life much easier all around. So well done to Fox Island. This is a nice device that they've got out there on the market and I'll definitely be replacing my SSR with this. If you are thinking of buying one, please check out the affiliate links in the description area below. They do not cost you any extra, but I may just get a tiny bit back, which ultimately helps keep the channel going. If you did find the video useful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if not done so already. Thank you all very much for watching. Final thanks as always goes to my patrons. If you want to get involved for one-to-one -one help, early access to content and exclusive giveaways, then check out the patron links in the description area below. I'll see you all on the next episode.